If we can hold for a second and just stop what we're doing, um, because we, we know that the disease is fatal. And we know that we want to see an end to this disease. So we want to take a moment and honor the people that we have lost to this disease and just take a moment of silence. So if you can take a moment with me, silence yourself, and just remember the people who we've lost to this disease. Thank you. Thanks again for all your support. We could not make this happen. But in true form and in true cheerleader style, you know I always have to start out with this. So when I say N, you say all. All right? Deal? I want to hear all the way back in all the tent areas. So when I say N, you say all. N. 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 Make it a great day. Thank you again. To the 2016 Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's here in Muskegon. So glad you guys are all here today. We've got a lot of fun things happening, so we're glad that you're here. The Alzheimer's Association wants to thank our generous sponsors for making today's event a success. Special thank you to Edward Jones, our national presenting sponsor, Muskegon Hope Riders, Allergan, Permanent O'Toole. Law Offices of David Waterstadt and our media sponsors Senior Perspectives and Women's Lifestyle on the North Shore. Thank you guys for what you've done and what you've been able to help us put on here today. We're so, so thankful for that. We also want to make sure that we give a big shout out to our Champions Club members who have raised more than $500 and our Grand Champions who have raised over $1,000 in the fight against Alzheimer's. These elite fundraisers can be spotted wearing Champions Club medals around their necks, and our Grand Champions also have special t-shirts. Make sure that you congratulate them. Also at the Allergan Tent, they do have Coach Broyles' playbook, and that is uh, for a playbook that gives um, uh, tips and strategies for those caregivers who are helping to fight Alzheimer's with their family and friends. These are being given away free at the Allergan Tent, so if you need one, go stop there and pick it up. Also, don't forget to hit the photo booth area for air care. This is a way for you to really put out there online that you have done some great things with the walk to fight Alzheimer's today. So make sure that you have a chance to do that. Also, make sure that you're texting text to end alts to 51555 and follow the instructions to make a donation today. Thank you again for attending the 2016 Walk to End Alzheimer's. I want to officially welcome you to the Walk to End Alzheimer's 2016. My name is Elizabeth Donnelly Johnson. I am the Community Outreach Coordinator right here in Muskegon, West Shore Region. I cannot thank you enough for coming out. Um, I was keep on pressing my refresh to make sure the radar was going to be sunny and hey, we got it. So thanks for the sunshine, whoever brought that. Uh, this is my fifth year doing the walk to end Alzheimer's and we are just growing and I just cannot thank you again for coming out and fundraising to end this disease. I want to take a moment, um, Debbie Stabenow was unable to make it today. Um, but she did send me a letter um, that she would like me to read some of the things that are happening in our state. If the wind would cooperate with me. Thank you for the opportunity to lend my support to today's Walk to Alzheimer's. I wish I could be there with you. We have some good news to celebrate today. I have been working very hard to get the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to fund care planning sessions for Alzheimer's patients and their families under Medicare. And they have finally agreed to do so. This will affect... I'll get it sooner or later. Uh, this will effectively implement my Hope for Alzheimer's Act. This is a huge step forward, but we know there's more work to be done, and she needs your help. If you're willing to share your story of how you and your family have been impacted by Alzheimer's, please take a few minutes and go to www.stabenow.senate.gov backslash story.
By sharing your story, you're, you will help me, Debbie Stabenow, build a strong case for more research dollars to find a cure and for additional measures to help families and care caregivers. Thanks for being here today. I am proud to be your partner. Enjoy your walk, Debbie Stabenow. So this is amazing. The more times, the more times we share our story, the more we break the silence on this disease, and there's a stigma with this disease. So today we're having an impact, we're breaking the silence, and we're standing up to end Alzheimer's. I want to introduce our entertainment for the event, DJs on the Run. They've been doing a fabulous job with the music. At this time, I would like to introduce our wonderful MC, back by popular demand. Uh, for the morning, a strong support of the end of Alzheimer's as also part of the Connie's Chargers, Shelby State Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, Pete Slavinsky. All right, good morning, everybody. Are you guys ready to walk to end Alzheimer's? Yeah. yeah! All right, good morning and welcome. You know, I'm really pleased to be here again this year to help with the Alzheimer's Association, you know, in Muskegon. And, you know, in the United States, more than 5 million people are living with Alzheimer's. 5 million people. And over 15 million individuals are serving. Here, this is, isn't this an astronomical number? 15 million people are serving as unpaid caregivers. Let's give them a big round of applause. Amen. Well, many of you are those caregivers, so thank you very much for what you do. And as the prevalence of this disease continues to grow, the cost of care is escalating, right? Into the hundreds of billions, and it's destroying our families, our finances, and our future. Alzheimer is relentless, but guess what? So are we, right? We're relentless too. We're here to help put a stop to this horrible disease. So together, we allow Alzheimer's Association to continue providing care and support for programs to help all those effective, affected. And together, we'll walk around, we'll walk towards methods of treatment, prevention, and ultimately a cure, amen? A cure for this disease. That's what we're walking towards. The end of Alzheimer's starts with us, and it starts here. Right? Right? There you go. All right, are you guys with me this morning? Are you with me? Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Today, let's show the world our passion and our purple. Throughout the day, we're going to be sharing show, me, uh, blah, blah. We're going to be sharing photos on social media. That's what AirCare was here for. Give you an opportunity to gather together in a little fun way to share your support again in the fight against Alzheimer's. So we want to thank you for that. So if you haven't done so, make sure that you do check out the air care tent and also make sure that you are posting your photos online using hashtag walk to end alts and hashtag show your purple. So we can fill up our online gallery with photos of walkers across the country inspiring us even more to join us in this fight. We all have a reason to end Alzheimer's and that is very true. Whether it's to honor friends or family, I myself have family that have passed away from this disease, and I have friends who have had loved ones pass away from this disease, and friends who have passed away from this disease. So this disease is personal to all of us that are here today. And I'm standing here today because I truly believe that the end of Alzheimer's starts with us, and especially starts with me, because it's got to start somewhere. And today I can tell by looking out in this sea of purple that there's a lot of people who share that with me this morning. So thank you guys for being here. But you know, this, this sort of situation is not possible. This morning's event is not possible if we do not have supporters that can help us in this fight. So I want to take a few minutes here and thank some people who have made today's walk possible. None of us could be here without the generous support of our sponsors. So I want to say thank you to our sponsors today. Special thanks to Edward Jones. They are our Walk to End Alzheimer's national presenting sponsor, so give them a round of applause. Let's keep it going for Muskegon Hope Riders. There you go. If you're here and you're uh, partner with that event, make sure you do, do that loud cheer. Parmenter O'Toole. Thank you, Parmenter O'Toole. Law Office of David Waterstrat. 
Shelby State Bank, Brookhaven Medical Care Facility, and last but not least, Air Care. And we want to say thank you to all community signs and all the community signs of support. So this can't happen again without your support as well. So if you have more, if you would like more information about sponsoring the event next year, contact Elizabeth at the Alzheimer's Association. And we want to say thank you to those of you who have volunteered today. Thank you very much. This event cannot happen if you're not here and you're not a part of this morning. So thank you very much for that. Now, with that being said, thank, you know, as we thank those folks who have worked hard this year, but we also want to say thank you and let's give a big round of applause to the Walk Planning Committee members. So please, give them a big round of applause. That's a lot of work. If you've never put on an event, even like this, that is a ton of work to do this. So they need your help. So if you have not thanked each one of them, make sure that you do. But this event is not possible without them. And their committee is very small, but it's mighty, and of course they are led by the direction of the Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's Association Community Outreach Coordinator, Elizabeth Johnson. So let's give Elizabeth a big round of applause. There she is. And they wanted me to share this. Let's be honest. The future of the walk here in Muskegon, it's up to you. And here's why. Their committee is small, and if there's not a lot more support, the walk here may fail to exist in the future. And we're doing a lot of good here. We raise a lot of money here. We do a lot of great things here. So they have a core group of about three to four individuals who meet monthly, but it's not enough to pull it off in a great way every year. So they need your so help. They need your help and your support. If you are interested in being a part of the committee, to make this a reality every year, make sure that you talk to one of the committee members or see one of the members of the Alzheimer's Association, talk to Elizabeth or Mrs. Garzaloni. She, she stopped up earlier, so make sure that you're talking to some of those folks to be a part of this. All right. Now, as you look around, you're going to see a lot of different flowers, right? There's orange, yellow, purple, and blue flowers. And these flowers highlight our different reasons for being here today and our reasons to end Alzheimer's. The orange flowers represent people like Marietta. So everybody give Marietta a big round of applause. She's here today because she supports the cause and the vision of a world without Alzheimer's disease. So if you have an orange flower, please join Marietta in raising it high. Nice. Thank you. Now the purple flower, that represents folks like Carol Sullivan. Carol, raise that nice and high. Give Carol a big round of applause. Carol Sullivan is here today because she lost someone to Alzheimer's. Her husband, Bill, passed away this year. So if you have a purple flower that represents someone who has passed away from Alzheimer's, please raise that high. Amen. Give them a big round of applause. Next, we have our yellow flower. And our yellow flower represents people like Megan. Give Megan a big round of applause. Now, Megan, Megan's here today because she is representing and supporting someone who is fighting Alzheimer's. So if you have a yellow flower, Join Megan in raising it high this morning. Big round of applause. Big round of applause. Finally, we have our blue flower. Our blue flower, there you go, represents people like Esther, who are here today and has Alzheimer's, as we heard about earlier. If you have a blue flower, raise it high. Let's give a massive round of applause this morning. Way to go, Esther. Now the flowers that you've risen high this year, that you've raised high in honor of those who are fighting, have fought, or have a vision of a world 
without Alzheimer's. That is your flower. Now, usually we would plant as we go out, but this year we want you to carry those flowers proudly as you walk along the walk this, this morning. So these four people who have brought flowers that they symbolically hold, they represent the promises we have to come together to fulfill a colorful display of our intent to honor, remember, to care, and to fight. So no matter what color you're holding, you're not alone facing Alzheimer's. And you can certainly are not alone in this fight. These flowers are reasons to end Alzheimer's, and this is our fight to win, right? Amen? Our fight to win. The end of, end of Alzheimer's starts with you and with me, and together we will put a stop to this disease. At this time, we want everybody to join us in a fun warm-up exercise. This is something that everybody knows, so don't be shy, but I want to welcome back the one and only... Thank you. There she is. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't recognize you with your shirt on. There you go. I want everybody to give a warm... Well, she showed up in a bright pink shirt before. She went purple on me. I mean, I, she, I, she blended right in. Okay. I'm not coming back next year, I guess. I don't know. All right, welcome back, Heather David. Let's give Heather David a big round of applause from Shoreline Natural Wellness and Fitness. So welcome back, Heather. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hear some rowdy over here. Good, good. I expect you guys to get off your derriers. Rise, rise, rise. We're about to walk, and we need to warm our joints up. The breeze is kind of cool, so we're going to warm up our body and get our blood flowing. I promise it will be simple. It will be fun, and I expect team participation. Yes? Way to go, that was awesome. Thank you, let's give another big round of applause for Heather David from Shoreline Natural Wellness and Fitness. Has been here pretty much every year that I've been here, so thank you Heather for what you have done. All right, pretty soon we're gonna take a moment here in just a moment, and we are going to sing our national anthem. Uh, we're going to ask you to face that direction because we have a nice big American flag floating in the air just in that direction, so. When you gentlemen have our... Amen. Yeah. All right, we're gonna need everybody to walk on over to the starting line so that we can get started with our 2016 Walk to End Alzheimer's. So take some moments here and walk on over. Just wanna make sure that everybody has their flowers. Lift your flowers high in the air. walking on sunshine, but at least we had some sunshine to walk in, amen? All right, welcome back. We're so glad that you're here. Thank you for taking and participating in today's event. Uh, we do have some refreshments for you at our, uh, at our welcome uh, booth there, so make sure that you check that out. We've got some healthy snacks, water generously donated by Shelby State Bank, and Rennox Orchards donating the apples and the granola bars. So thank you to both of those organizations for what they do. Once you've got your, uh, once you've got your refreshments, come join us back here at the picnic tables, and we will begin our closing ceremonies when we have everybody back. Nice. 
Christian Care raised a total of $1,652. Let's give them a big round of applause. Nice. Way to go. Fantastic. Thank you, ladies. All right, good job. Give them another round of applause. We do want to say that, you know, they weren't, the second place team was not that far behind. Team Sanctuary, TSLC, was close with $1,000, and so that is still fantastic. All right. This year, our total to raise was $56,000, and we raised... An amount, and I will tell you that a little bit later. But first, I want to get to some other things. Sorry, there's nothing if there's no little bit of a suspense, right? Also, I want to say a big, huge thank you to our top individual fundraiser to date. It is none other than Mr. Bob Gundy. There you go, Bob. Stand up, Bob. Everybody wants to know. There you go. Thank you. Bob raised an incredible amount of $8,345. That is amazing. Our, our top fundraising family and teams to date is Muskegon Hope Riders. With an, an impressive, as a group, they raised $9,290 so far for the walk this season. Yes, give them a big round of applause. Not far behind them was Races to Remember. They raised $3,100. And again, our top organizational team is Christian Care with a total of $1,672 raised to date. All donations that have been made today will appear on the walk on the walk uh, website within four weeks. This is a very busy time for the Alzheimer's Association, so give them a little bit of uh, uh, leeway there and some time and making sure that everything's posted because they've still got to double check all the numbers. We want to say thank you again to the committee who has put countless of hours to make this day come together, and also to the entire Alzheimer's Association of the Great Lakes chapter. The Alzheimer's Association is committed to advancing the fight against Alzheimer's locally here in Muskegon and across the country and around the world. They provide care and support through services like their 24-7 hotline. So again, if you know somebody that needs to access that, make sure that uh, they have that. And they've got lots of educational programs. And if you ever need that number for the web, or ever need that number for the 24-hour hotline, it is on the website, which is alz.org. And they are the leading voice for Alzheimer's, and they rally nationwide to, for the F, for the advocates and so forth. So, I told you guys we'd get to the grand total, right? You guys want to know it? All right. This year, our total that we were looking for was $56,000. We fell a little bit short, but we still raised over $47,573. That is amazing. Now listen, we are about $8,500 just shy. And I know that there's always money being raised. I know us at Shelby State Bank, we're still selling cookbooks. We're still selling lots of things, candy and so forth. So we're still trying to cut down into that $8,500 total. But there is a way for you to do that. There is a way for you to connect with your companies, with your businesses, people that you know. We do corporate matching programs. So a lot of the corporates, uh, corporations out there that are still looking to donate to stuff before the end of the year, they need that tax write-off. Well, you know, Alzheimer's Association needs their support. So that's a good way to connect. Also, for if you know friends and family who are like, oh man, I meant to, uh, meant to be a part of that and I just couldn't make it in or I forgot to get you my donation, Tell them that's fine. You can go to, let me get the number here. You know the alt number? What is it? You 
can go right online to actalz.org backslash Muskegon. They look, can look for uh, you as an individual walker, as a team, or they can just do a general walk donation, just the walk in general. Yeah, and the one I was looking for, I'm sorry, was you can text two end alts, and that's two, the number two, E-N-D-A-L-Z, to 51555, and you can also make a donation that way. That's what I was looking for right there. So, no, 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 that's just a great way. I know a lot of people love to do the uh, texting to uh, make donations and so forth, so that's a great way of doing it. All right, what we got? All right. So, again, as we wrap up here, I just want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you for the time to come out and to have fun with you guys on a great walk. Beautiful, sunshiny day, and it's an opportunity to be a blessing to those that are fighting this disease. So I'm going to turn it back over to Liz, and thank you guys, and have a blessed day. Again, thank you everyone uh, for coming out today and showing your support this morning. On behalf of the Muskegon Watch and Alzheimer's Committee, and I hope that you'll join us for next year, because we're going to go bigger and better. So, oop. I'd like to give a huge thanks to our MC, Pete Slavinsky. Give him a round of applause. Keep the day going, as well as DJs on the run. Keep the music, keeping us upbeat, and let the sunshine come. We appreciate your support to the cause, and your voice has been heard today. We hope you have a great weekend, and see you next year. Thank you, everyone. Oh. I need to uh, ask someone to come to the stage who's going to supply a special gift to Liz. Someone was going to do that. Anybody going to, well, all right, I'll present it. Liz, this is on behalf of the, Put my finger in there. You got, all right. Liz, this is on behalf of the Alzheimer's Association and your chat, local chapter here. So everybody is a big thank you for all the work that you put in. You guys may not know this, but this is Liz's last walk as coordinator for the Alzheimer's Association of Muskegon. So let's give her a big round of applause. Thank you, Liz, for all that you have done. Again, if you want to be a part of this, see Liz or Deb Garzaloni, and then they can help you come up and, and be a part of this program. This has been great, so thanks again. You guys have a wonderful weekend.